Welcome back to the Nolan Build Shop, where we are going to endeavor on building a full kitchen cabinet job. Let's get after it. Let's go. Welcome back to the Nolan Build Shop. As you just heard, this is the first sheet, and that is the first sheet of 30 sheets of pre-finished double-sided maple plywood for a full kitchen cabinet build now while i have cut out cabinets on the cnc before this is the largest job i have done on the cnc so it was a pretty nervous uh time to be hitting the go button on 30 sheets of plywood you have to have your designs completely correct uh before you hit the start button or otherwise all of these parts are not going to meet up together but through a program called mosaic the programming is easy it is a drag and drop type feature type program and it allows me to basically go through their library drag over a cabinet and drop it into a design and then modify that cabinet as needed now while the cnc is cutting out all of these parts I am going to be reading up on this brand new 72 GP safety speed edge bander that I got in just in the nick of time for this job. Man, I mean it couldn't have came any closer. Now I have to get read up on it, get it installed, get it hooked up, and do some practice pieces on it so that I can start edge banding this job. And at this point where I'm turning this machine on in this video in particular, I have done my practice pieces and I am I have it dialed in enough to where I get a good enough piece off of the edge bander it's not perfect right away um, I, it took me some while to keep on adjusting it but I got it to where it was looking good on this pre-finished job and I thought doing pre-finished uh, cabinets would be easier but actually it is more tedious because you have to get the edge band in just right you cannot use a sander to knock it down or doing um, fix any imperfections so you have to dial in your edge bander and get it just right on the first try once all my pieces are edge banded you can already see some cabinets are built in the background but uh, this is me going through the assembly process which I actually enjoyed this part because mosaic makes it so easy uh, to do so so all of these cabinets are uh, built and cut with blind dados and it allows me to be able to go through and build parts and they have their own slots and placements for each part so there's no guessing or shimmying or, or you know uh, adjusting parts it's mostly just me uh, putting it in lining it up putting glue in uh, stapling it and then putting screws in and going from one cabinet to another it's a really nice project uh, nice process to be able to do with cutting all the parts on the CNC through uh, the mosaic program all right so I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here and take the time to give a quick shout out to Phantom CNC for making a really quality machine because um, this is a really big job that is actually bringing in a good amount of money for me my business and my family and I wouldn't have been able to uh, do this job as quickly as I've done it with the accuracy that I'm doing it in without the Phantom CNC being as good of a machine as it is and a quick shout out also to the mosaic program for offering such a, a easy to use uh, program alright guys I'm applying a new product called tile gasket from a company called all-star CNC this is going to allow me to increase my vacuum hold down power on my CNC bed by almost 200%, which means that I am not going to lose small parts anymore. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, vacuum bed is on. All of my zones are on. It means the entire bed is running vacuum. Let's see what we got. any movement, no movement really. Now let's turn it all into one zone. That's great. So yeah, I really like the All-Star CNC uh, tile gasket. 
it has really uh, came in handy with holding down parts a lot better and it's really worth it because it lasts it's lasted me about six months without really having to redo any spoil board so um, I highly recommend it and yeah try some out all right so I'm about to try something I haven't tried before that is a lighter pro shell So here's another testament of the All-Star CNC tile gasket. I am about to cut out these floating shells. I forgot to take the tab off of this program when I programmed it in Mosaic. So what I was able to do is leave the vacuum bed running while I went in and changed my programming to take the tabs off. Reran the same exact program without the tabs and none of the parts moved in order for me to uh, not mess up this uh, all right so now we're gonna move on to drawers and hardware I am using bloom undermount uh, drawer slides for this kitchen cabinet job and I'm using the 563 F's for three quarter inch boxes and so I just picked up this rockler uh, jig to be able to help me with setting all of this up and it makes it real easy and simple basically put on these clips drill those couple of holes in the back of the box and i should be able to slide these in to the cabinet real nice and those holes in the back of the drawer that i just drilled goes right over top of this little uh, pin here on the back of the drawer slide that is one going to allow me to lock in the drawer to the drawer slides and two is going to allow for adjustment up and down on the drawer slide which I'll show you a little bit later on in the video right now I'm going to show you how to remove the drawer basically by squeezing in the clips on the bottom of the drawer just like this Let me show you the view from the underside. Just squeeze these two orange clips and the drawer slides shall release from the drawer. And then push it back in and it clicks right back in to lock. As I previously stated, this pin is where you adjust up and down. I'm using the Bloom 110 degree self-closing inserter clip top hinges on this cabinet build and they are really nice, especially for insulation and removal of the doors. Watch this. The drawers that are inside of the cabinet are called trays inside of Mosaic and they require spacers. So that's what you see me installing here and that allows for the drawer to get past the door when the door is open. And now we're moving back to the CNC to cut out all the toe kick material. And as you can see there's a lot of small parts here and the towel gasket did not let me lose one part. Which means that's money saved and time saved for me not having to remake another part. Which makes me believe the tile gasket is well worth the investment. All right, garage door is open. Cabinets are all assembled, put together. Now, the job is to get all of these cabinets into the trailer. Safely, no scratches, nothing. So, get ready for delivery day. Get ready to start loading up. All right, here is the blank canvas for all these cabinets to go into. Now there was a kitchen here before. Um, I did not remove the cabinets, but they, were, they have been removed. All of the drywall and flooring and everything has been taken care of. And now it is time to uh, get.
get the get the new uh, cabinets installed and uh, make this one beautiful kitchen so I'll let you enjoy uh, the process and uh, watch these uh, kitchen cabinets come to life all right guys in here on the kitchen bill and we're getting ready for countertops I have a few more things left to do before I can say I'm finished, but most of the cabinetry is done. Let me show you what I got. Damn. And this is what I have left to do. I have to finish these doors for this piece here, and then we'll be done. Right now I'm about to fit the sink, and once the sink is in, then we'll be able to finish doing the countertops and get everything put in place. These are the floating shelves that we cut out on the CNC. Perfectly miter folded and this is the process I use to install them. Instead of uh, pre-assembling and, and cutting them in, I cut each piece individually and wrapped them uh, in the space because it was going in between two hard points. And just wanted to make sure that I got it dialed in really, really close. But since this was a pre-finished job, there was no room for any error. And I didn't want to have to try to fill in with any wood filler or caulk or anything like that. So I was dialing this in one piece at a time just to make sure that this thing looked amazing when it was done. And once this glue sets up, it really is going to look amazing. These are all the stickers that come off of the cabinets after uh, install. So, yeah. And here is the, uh, the finished product of those floating shelves. As you can see, no gaps. All right, guys. We're coming to an end. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on the video, on the cabinets, uh, any of the process, feel free to leave me a comment. Ask down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video to anybody who you think might be interested in just watching. Until next time, see you again. It's been a pleasure. And I'll leave you with the before and after videos of this job to see how this space was transformed.